Welcome to my channel and to my kitchen. You've probably heard the phrase, the kitchen is the heart of the home. It's where we prep our food, cook, bake, clean, and oftentimes gather. It makes sense to keep this space organized and free of clutter so we can maximize our time spent here while being efficient and still creative. That's what we'll be chatting about in today's video. So that was a quick before of what my kitchen looks like right now from the surface. It's not too bad, but as you can see, there's a lot of stuff on the counters. And then here is a quick peek inside every single cupboard and every single drawer. It's gotten pretty messy. When I first moved here about a year and a half, almost two years ago at this point, um, I had a really organized kitchen. I had decluttered before the move, got rid of anything that I didn't want in my drawers, utensils, cups, mugs, um, anything at all. And it really helped. I only had items in the kitchen that I absolutely loved, kind of like Con Marie style, and it worked really well. But as you can see, these cupboards are now overflowing with things. We're a family of five. I have three children. They're six, four, and one year old. And we have more than we need. It's funny how you just start like collecting things as your family grows. So it's time to just get everything out into the open and get rid of some of it. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Elizabeth DePetta here on YouTube. She is a mom of three living just outside of Toronto, Canada. She makes videos about homemaking motivation, lifestyle, decor videos, and the most incredible DIYs, many of them from the Dollar Tree. She's very talented. She has great videos, and I think that you will love her. Definitely check out her channel right after this one. Our first step is going to be to clear off the counters. Take everything off, everything, even the soap pump, even your appliances. Now, you'll see I leave my coffee pot here. That's because I haven't had my coffee yet today, so I still have to make it. But we just want to start with a clean slate and then wipe everything down, make it nice and sparkling, and we'll be ready to get into it. There are a few different ways to do this next part. You can take everything out of every single drawer and cupboard all at once right now, or you can do it cupboard by cupboard, drawer by drawer, if you think that you're gonna keep things where they already are. I'm starting with the cupboard that holds all of my children's plates and bowls and all of our water bottles in that cool little shelf thing I just showed you. This is everything that was in the cupboard. And now it's time to assess what we actually need and use. Like these plates are my favorite, but two of them are a different size, so I'm gonna donate those. Those are also our favorite plates, and I have one for each child. The rest of these things, I'm just kind of going through, seeing what works. I have two thermoses. I decided just to keep one. It was kind of hard for me because I love this pretty Starbucks one, but it doesn't keep drinks as hot, so I just need the clean canteen. These are the plates and bowls I'm keeping and water bottles and thermoses, and this is what I'm getting rid of. Next up, I'm going through all of my cups, mugs, and wine glasses. Can you see me? Hi. Mine's doing great about the cup and that. The cups are doing, the cups are great. I think it's right, boy. I got my favorite best tool back for me. Okay. Organizing when your kids are home is so hard. Luckily, my husband was here and was entertaining them most of the day. These are my husband Josh's mugs. These are my Ray Dunn, and the rest are like all my mugs. I obviously have too many, so I'm trying to get rid of them, but like they have like a sentimental meaning, some of them, so it is hard to part with some. I also love a different mug for a different mood, but I think I parted down enough. They all fit in the cupboard on these Lazy Susans. And now it's time to go through all of the wine glasses. I really don't drink wine much at all. My family does though. My husband Josh is sober. He's about seven months sober right now. So it's really time to just see what we don't need. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes putting everything back into the shelves and drawers is like a game of Tetris, like seeing what fits and how it all works. You'll see this in a little bit with one of the drawers that I organize, but this part's a little bit easier. There's a lot less that's in here, but enough for entertaining. And now I can move on to the plates. We have so many plates and bowls. These are all of them. The bear plates, those yellow and black bear plates are hand-me-down plates that were my family's growing up and I just love them. Then I have a few specialty plates, these little bowls that I love and use for everything, as well as these are great for ice cream. Um, I have a lot of things that I like that I just can't reach or can't get to. So taking some of these things out of the cupboard is going to make it a lot easier to see the things that I actually want. I've decided to just put these bear bowls down in the basement because that we don't use them. They're not really a great size I've got like a really wide lip and I prefer these like black plastic bowls that I got at Target I don't usually use a lot of plastic in the kitchen in terms of like our plates or cups or things like that but the size of these just works better I keep all three of my kids cups in this drawer I had already gone through and gotten rid of a ton last week I will share a post on my Instagram Danny Grace daily of everything that I got rid of in this purge so definitely go follow me on Instagram and I will put it in my stories I'll also save it as a highlight so that if you're viewing this later than 24 hours after I post it you can still see but they all fit in that drawer the kids can easily access them to get their drinks and now I'm moving on to the danger zone on top of the fridge it collected all of our supplements for exercise and workout and all of our vitamins in the cabinet next to it. So I bought these baskets to hold all the supplements because they're just so unsightly. I can't stand looking at them anymore. So I figured I'm gonna try and fit everything in here, but they didn't all fit because my husband's containers of his protein powder are huge. So I ended up taking out the ones that only had a little bit left because he's got like all different kinds and I put them in Ziploc baggies and labeled them so that they fit in there a little bit neater. And when I put it on top of the fridge, it was all tucked away and hidden. A lot of the items that I store above my oven were expired. So actually only like the salt and the apple cider vinegar was still good. I don't use them a lot. This is everything that I have to toss. The olive oil and salt were basically empty. So I just threw those away and put them on my grocery list to get more. Now my favorite part is these utensil drawers. I don't know why I love going through these. I think because I really love the utensils or like utility tools that I love. I don't know the right word for them, but I love everything that I have. It's so con Marie of me, I know, but these are all different types of kitchen tools. And so I decided to line the drawers so that things don't slip around with some of this like, it's kind of like a rubbery mat type thing. And then when you put things in the drawer, it doesn't move or shift when you pull it open. So I put that down in all the drawers. I love turquoise. It's like the pop of color that I have throughout my kitchen and my whole home. That is one piece of advice that I have for you when designing or decorating your own kitchen. Pick one color as like your main color. For me, it's turquoise. So anytime I go to buy a utensil that comes in different colors, I know that turquoise or a shade of turquoise is what I will use. So I'm going through all of the ones that I keep next to my oven. I'm getting rid of a few that were older and kind of I don't know, cracked a little bit, and just keeping the ones that I absolutely love, that I enjoy cooking with. It just makes cooking more joyful when you have tools that you like. And to be completely honest, I don't love cooking at all. So this stuff is like totally necessary for my happiness. So this drawer is the one I was talking about when I was talking about Tetris. This one, I've decided to put all of the items that I don't use every day. I keep opening and closing it because I wanna make sure that the drawer slides open evenly. We have the tiniest little drawers on either side of the oven, but I hate when things don't open smoothly, so I'm just kind of configuring it so that it all fits in there. I don't use it every day. It does look a little bit messy, but it works. And then the other drawer is the more used tools that I need or reach for every single day. Thank you. 
I keep measuring spoons and measuring cups and my aprons all in this drawer on the island. Um, I usually do my baking on the island so it makes a lot of sense that it's right there so I can pull it open whenever I'm starting or working on a recipe. And then the cupboards on the bottom on either side of my oven, they have just collected Stuff. This block of knives we're getting rid of, um, a bunch of like older appliances. What I've decided to do is to move as many appliances off of my counters as I can. I want to just have like free, clear, open space on my counters. So I'm going to clear space in this cupboard, this is underneath my island, so that I can put some appliances down here so that they're no longer on my kitchen counters. I also keep mixing bowls down here and some like silicone um, food prep type things down here. On the right side of my island, I also went through and organized this last week. It's just gotten a little disheveled because my daughter gets in here sometimes, she's one. So I'm just going back through and just reorganizing. I keep the kids lunch boxes here, lunch containers, and then all of our glass food prep and storage on the top shelf and all of our plastic Tupperware on the bottom. I use the glass, my husband uses the plastic. He doesn't like taking glass in his lunch box because he says it's too heavy, which makes sense because he actually leaves the house with it. I just keep it in my fridge. And now I'm moving on to the dreaded pots and pants. Pots and pants? Oh my God, I did just say that. Pots and pans cupboard. Moving on to the silverware drawer. So all of the drawers in this kitchen are so narrow. This is the widest drawer and I had to get two or three different silverware organizers before I found one that actually fits this drawer. So this one is expandable. I picked it up at Target when we first moved in. So not only am I missing some of my I guess adult silverware. I think the kids have accidentally thrown it away. Um, I also have way too many children's silverware. So I'm getting rid of everything on the right side, that whole pile of kids silverware. And then on the left side, I'm sorting through all of that and only keeping one of each set and donating a few others. This Cloud Island set, um, the pink, gray, and green at the top from Target, they um, stain really easily. So I don't recommend buying them. They're so cute and have the prettiest colors, but I decided to just get rid of them because they stained with pasta sauce and it just won't wash off. These are the last two drawers on the island and then we are done. So I already have had these organized. I'm just going through, wiping them down, putting down the drawer liner and that's it. These were already like pretty organized and good to go so I'll show you what's in there. So one of the drawers is all of our baggies and little like bento kid lunchbox picks. The other one is saran wrap and foil and parchment paper. Before I finish up, I am just going through this basket where I keep my cookbooks on the counter. I've decided to leave these out. I like looking at them. They make me happy and they remind me that there are a lot of good recipes that I still want to try. So I'm putting them in the corner. I'm getting rid of three of them and the rest I can finally see. I do keep all of our bread in a basket, so I moved that to the opposite corner. And that, my friends, is the grand finale. It took me all day to organize my kitchen, or reorganize it, but I am so happy that I have finally reorganized the space. I feel like January is the best time to do it because I am all about a fresh start, a fresh, clean, organized kitchen, eating healthy, 
doing better all around in every aspect of life and I am just so pleased with how this turned out. I feel like I got rid of so much stuff, I kept only the things that I loved and it's going to be a great way to kick off 2021 with a wonderfully clean kitchen. So no matter what time of the year you're seeing this video, it's always a good time to have a clean kitchen. We spend so much time in that area of our home if you eat food and you live at home. So why not just make it functional and make it work for you and your family? Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. watching today's video. I hope it gave you some ideas and inspiration to clean, organize, and declutter your own kitchen. I feel like it's a really good system we've had for a while now. I just made some tweaks to really make it work for our family and I think it's going to be great. So I'm just so happy that this is done and ready for the new year. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I will have a lot more decluttering and organizational videos this year. And make sure that you head over to Elizabeth's video next. She is beautiful, she is kind, she has such great ideas, and I love her channel so much. I know that you will too. Go check her out, let her know that I sent you, Danny Grace Daily, and I'll see you next time.